Hi, welcome to my channel. This is Mr. Ed. Today I am going to talk about my new aviation English training. I will be uploading these videos talking about aviation maintenance. If you are an aviation mechanic, you are in your way to become a mechanic, or you want to improve your English, this channel is for you. In the aviation maintenance field, almost all the information is in English, so at least you must be able to read in English. But it's better if you are able to read, write, speak and understand English. And once you reach that level, you can apply to get the FAA certification. And you can get a better job wherever you want. If you are interested, please continue watching this video. Probably you have many questions about this video. But before that, I'm going to introduce myself. As I said before, I am Mr. Ed. I am an FAA certified aviation mechanic. I have worked with airplanes since 2005. I used to teach in a school for aviation mechanics. I started a technical English course two years ago, but I had to cancel it because I moved to another city. I have tried different methods and schools to learn English, but I have realized that whatever the school you go to and whatever the method you use, you need to spend as much time as possible with the language you are learning and that you need to spend more time listening to English. Listening is the most important part of language learning because through listening you can unconsciously learn vocabulary, structures, grammar and pronunciation. But you don't learn anything just by listening once. You need repetition. Repetition is key in language learning. I want to help you with your learning. I want to be your coach. I want to be your partner. I want you to listen these videos several times. And you will notice that each time you listen, you get something new. And that is how it works. Easy, right? You must listen and listen until you master each lesson. One advantage my videos will have is that you can read the script in English and Spanish of what I am saying. You can read it in Spanish first if it is necessary. But when you know what I am talking about, please read in English while you listen to me. That way, you learn how the words sound and how they are written. And please relax when you are watching these videos. Learning just happens unconsciously when you are relaxed. In the beginning, I will talk about how the maintenance manuals are called, what are the chapters in which they are divided, what is the most common vocabulary used there? I will talk about how to get the FAA certification. I will talk about the topics in the study guides for the FAA certification. I will tell you how the airplane systems work. After each lesson, I will upload a video with the list of words used in the last lesson. This video will include a list of phrases to help you learn new vocabulary. It will help you if you don't have much previous knowledge of English. And also, I want you to tell me in the comments what topic you want to learn about, so I can upload videos about it. Also, I want to know what is your English level. How did you reach that level? And how good you want to be in English? And last but not least, as you know, time never stops. 
It took me five years to reach this level of English and I'm still learning. What about you? What are you doing today to learn English or to improve your English? Are you now in your way of learning? If not, what are you waiting for? This is your time. This is your chance. Don't let it go. I'm going to be happy to lead you to the success that English can give you. Thanks so much for your time. Please hit the like button and share this video with your friends if you like it. I want to help more people like you. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want to improve your English. Also, if you want to get your FAA license, why not? You can do it. If you can see it in your mind, you just need to make the decision to start. Thanks again. See you next time.